I have never taken him to be a very vindictive person, unless it is the cartels that have captured him uh, that are pushing him towards that direction. We shall therefore direct the ESCC to take a keen interest to confirm the integrity of the 700 million worth of records that have been presented, to investigate how 600 million was reported as having been spent without supporting documentation, to extend the scope and breadth of the investigation beyond the governor and his spouses to the chief officers and to the persons who had constitutional responsibility to maintain custody of records and to consider investigating and recommending prosecution for the violations of the Public Audit Act, for the violations of the Public Finance Management Act, and for the violations of the procurement law. Indeed, for the violation of the constitutional principles that requires persons with responsibility to manage public funds and resources to conduct, to conduct themselves in a certain way. So going beyond the money that uh, is alleged to have been stolen, we must also look at what the law requires officers in county governments to uphold and to observe under the Public Audit Act, provision of records is a requirement. Non-provision of records is an offense. It is high time someone was taken to court on that account. Because if you look at the quantum here, one billion, that is big enough for us to ask for someone to go to court. You are recommended yeah. for award uh, by the president on the good job you did along, alongside others, although we wanted 415, <laughs> but you came back with four, 400 billion. And then, and, uh, and then 600 million cannot be accounted for. <laughs> you see, that's, that's a tragedy. And, that we and put up a fight, Senator Kangata, you have always put up this fight then 600 million cannot be accounted for. Out of that 9 billion, perhaps Moranga is going to get 400 million. Then you come back two years later with the same crooks that you're having that you cannot justify 600 million. It is sad. It is sad. If we cannot say that let the Moranga people uh, fry themselves. No, this is not Moranga people money. This is money that has been contributed by the people of Kisi, people of Nyandarwa, comes into a port, we send to Moranga, then you guys decide to disappear with 600 million. It can't be business as usual. Senator. Uh, the, the, Chair, the, the other issue, <coughs> Your Excellency, that I wanted to bring your attention, and please look at it as you are going to give us a report on the next session. You know, all the donor funding agencies have said, if you have an, an adverse opinion, they will not give you money. I hope you understand that. So the reason why you see we are pushing this for our counties to clean up all the messes, whether they are past or current, is because immediately you have an adverse opinion, the donor agencies, you're talking about urban development, you're talking about health, you're talking about industry, you're talking about environment. Imagine Moranga missing out on close to 2 billion shillings. Those are the issues we are engaged with. Let me then uh, bring this to a conclusion and, and again um, give another example of where Moranga is losing out, that uh, under the Kenya Inform Informal Settlement uh, Program, uh, we looked at the schedules with the CS uh, Alice, who I think comes from Moranga by birth, and um, she was quite embarrassed that Moranga County did not appear on the schedule exactly. of recipients for KISIP 2. Exactly. My county, Homer Bay, was receiving 1.45 billion Kenya shillings, 1.45 billion under the Kenya Informal Settlement uh, Program. The rest of the counties were getting 300, 400, and so you are missing out on opportunities uh, because you are too soft on the people who are supposed to be providing proper uh, reports on your financial affairs. But just to uh, bring this to a close, at our last meeting, we queried the expensing of one billion Kenya shillings as other payments. And we directed that the county executive goes back and breaks it down to the satisfaction of the Auditor General. Today, out of that one billion, 
we still do not have a proper explanation. And globally, there's still 600 million that cannot be explained. Even the 700 million that has been provided to the Auditor General, the Senate sitting here today has no visibility on the authenticity of the records that have been presented to the Auditor General. And uh, I do not think that that verification should squarely lie with the Auditor General. They perhaps should pass it to an investigative agency. What asks this committee is that the officers who are responsible for the mess are still at the scene of crime, and they've still been rewarded with uh, prestigious positions, which gives them an opportunity to continue altering records. If they were genuine, and if they were committed public servants, they ought to have provided evidence of that expenditure. Because that expenditure could not have passed without the chief officer of finance, the directors of accounting, those persons whom you continued to uh, retain in your administration knowing. So this committee uh, finds it unfortunate. In fact, we would take a view that you have been captured. There's been county capture in Moranga. You have been captured by the crooks of the past. And that is why you are unable to do anything about them. And that is why you have carried the excuse that your chief officer is sick, and that's why he cannot come here. We needed that chief officer here. So, Governor Kangata, you must break that capture uh, if you're going to, to succeed. We sense a lack of seriousness on the part of the executive to ensure accountability. Even if this expenditure occurred, when Governor Kainata was a senator and a member of this committee, as a chief executive officer, you know what your responsibility is. We do not want to reach the conclusion that the current administration is trying to fix the past administration. But the conduct of the executive so far would point to that. So first is to thank the committee here, Chair. We are, you have really done the people of Moranga the right thing. Reason being, when we came here, the documents from Moranga for this year, which is 2020-2021, were zero. Through your interventions and pushing, we are now at 57%. And I agree with you, there is every likelihood maybe there was money was stolen. There is also every likelihood maybe when what has been provided is not the right thing. So we are not for you. There is every likelihood even this 57% we are at maybe will not... Uh, will not have arrived at. And therefore, we want to associate ourselves with the committee, the recommendations, uh, whatever sanctions you will, or directions you will issue, we will definitely consider. And we believe we are not for the good work you have done. Most likely, we will not have reached uh, this level of at least accounting for 57%. And uh, we give you an assurance that uh, we will uh, definitely take that into account. As to your representation concerning the officers who may have done or had this problem of a very negative audit report, we have heard you, and, and I will definitely take your representation very strongly, probably next time when, when we come back. But we believe, maybe just to comment, your effort has not been in vain. There has been uh, progress over that period, in particular, at least accounting for 57% of that amount. But I agree, the 600 or so million is not a small change. Even one shilling for the public is huge, and we definitely uh, we, we will do uh, comply with your directions. Thank you. Officers who have signed the statement are in the office. And I think unless maybe the county wants to protect them, they should be able to respond to these queries. Uh, governor, are you trying to fix the former governor of Muranga, His Excellency Governor Mwangi Wairia? Governor? By doing nothing about anything. Are you trying to fix him? We would take a view that you have been captured. There's been county capture in Moranga. You have been captured by the crooks of the past, and that is why you are unable to do anything about them.
this report is a story of theft in Moranga. And so let uh, ESCC and um, uh, perhaps there could be matters that DCI can also be seized of. But I think ESCC should be the lead investigator in this case.